Hello students. So now we will talk about the NCERT question answers of the lesson conservation of biodiversity. So we are talking about NCERT solutions. So the first question is fill in the blanks. So I will just write over here question number 1 fill in the blanks. Now, so I will just read A, a place where animals are protected in their natural habitat is called a, a place where animals are protected in their natural habitat is called a, we can say uh, even the uh, parks also we can even say centuries also it is nothing like that. So, uh, if I write century over here that is also a correct one. So, century. Now, come to the B1 species found only in a particular area are known as. We have discussed this thing that the species the, uh, which is found in that particular area only and it is not found anywhere else as I was talking about the peacock that even the peacock is an endemic species to India. So, that is known as endemic species. So, species found only in a particular area are known as endemic species. Now, we will talk about the C1. Migratory birds fly to far away places because of dash changes. We have discussed what is the meaning of migration. Migration means the mass movement of the birds or the animals in search of food, water, shelter or maybe due to the climatic conditions. And coming back is also very very important. That means the birds and animal when they do not find a suitable condition and uh, the place where they are living they feel that it is not so comfortable they move to the other place. But when the favorable conditions comes back again these birds and animals they come back to their own home. They come back to the place where they started from. So they move due to many reasons and uh, just now I told all these reasons. So the question is because the birds fly away places because of dash changes. So, they fly away because of the change in the climatic conditions that means when it is winter they are not able to um, you know uh, uh, their body is not in a condition to bear so much of cold and they move to the other place or in so if the heat is high or the temp sorry the temperature is high then uh, in that case also they move to the other side. So, it is climatic changes. Now, we will move to the question number 2 differentiate between the following. Now, this is question number 2 and we will be talking about the differences between. Differentiate between the following is A a wildlife sanctuary and the biosphere reserve just now we solved this question. So, there is no need to solve this question again and the difference between wildlife sanctuary and the biosphere reserve just uh, before 5 minutes we have solved this question. Now, we will come to the B1 directly. Now, the second is zoo and wildlife sanctuary. So, first of all I need to write the question number 2 that means over here I will write answer to give difference or the differences. Give differences and here A is already done we have already done this A and so we are moving to the B1. So, 
So the difference has to be written between the zoo and the by uh, zoo and wildlife sanctuary. So we are supposed to write over here the difference between the zoo and the wildlife sanctuary. See, uh, we have discussed that what is a zoo? We all have visited zoo many a times. Definitely, we have gone to the sanctuaries also, but. A zoo is a very often uh, like it is a place where we visit very often if the uh, we have got young kids at home. So, uh, what is there in the zoo? The artificial habitat is there. That means the natural habitat is not provided in most of the zoos. In most of the zoos, the artificial habitat is there. And in the wildlife sanctuaries, obviously the uh, real habitat is given provided. So, the first one is artificial habitat is given and in wildlife century natural habitat is present. Again I would like to bring one point to not notice that you know this always I say that I sometimes write in a complete sentence, com sometimes I write in a half sentence, sometimes I write only keywords and sometimes I write only the gist. So it is not that uh, about the right and wrong, it is uh, all about the uh, like you know I write in many ways. So if you see that the sentence is not complete then it has to be completed, I most of the times uh, write in the uh, incomplete or uh, keywords. Okay. So now, uh, second difference between the uh, zoo and the uh, wildlife centuries. First of all, I'll just draw one more line so that we can understand. This is the question number two, where the difference is given between. You know, the question is asked. Uh, many questions are given, and along with this, the uh, one we have already solved. Okay, so we are discussing the second question. Now, uh, the second point is that see, in zoo we all know that whenever we visit the zoo, we uh, you know the we are allowed to be there. We are allowed to be there and we are allowed to see. We can go in groups and big groups and we we enjoy over there. So it is a recreation, uh, uh, you know, a sort of an entertainment uh, entertaining place for us. So. Uh, we can the animals are in cage, they are in prison, but when we talk about the wildlife centuries they are not in prison, isn't it? So the animals are in cages, but here animals are not in cages, they are not in cages. Now here public exhibition sort of thing is there, public exhibition sort of thing is there that people come and they visit, is not it? So public exhibition is there, but when we talk about century a uh, great care that means the animals are protected. Uh, totally from the uh, you know they are, they are given a very protective environment over there. So this is again a very important point over here. So here that public exhibition is not there and they are in safe environment. And protected uh, safe environment and protected environment and their natural habitat. So these are the three points uh, you can always add your own, own points. Uh, so zoo is an artificial place where the animals are kept in the prison. 
here the animals are not kept in the prison here the natural habitat is not given whereas in centuries the natural habitat is given here the their uh, you know habitat is also safe they are also very much safe definitely we cannot kill the animals in zoo also but the public exhibition sort of thing is there like the uh, the the animals are there in the uh, the cages and uh, everyone visit there isn't it but in centuries it is not the thing uh, so these are the two major differences and definitely in many uh, national parks and centuries also we are allowed to go to, as a visitor isn't it but it is not the case you know like we can go openly uh, because the animals are not in prison isn't it they are not in uh, cages i should not use this word prison but they are not in cages i should say they are not in cages but uh, so if we have to visit how do we go we go in a special uh, bus which is totally covered you know we can say that we go in a cage sort of a bus because the animals are open animals can attack us and so we go in a cage sort of a, a vehicle and uh, we can visit uh, the open animals the case is just reversed isn't it in the zoos the the, the animals are in cages and here uh, at the national parks or sanctuaries where we go and visit often uh, there we go in a protected uh, vehicles isn't it okay now come to the next one now here the third one is the difference between the endangered species and the uh, this one is c i think so yeah c ending endangered species and the extinct species endangered species and extinct species now we know what is the meaning of endangered and we know what is the meaning of extinct endangered species are the one which are on the verge of extinction they still survive isn't it endangered species they are present on the earth that means they are alive isn't it they are still alive they are still alive and here they are not present on the surface of the earth that means they are they are not present on the earth that means they are dead or they are not alive now they are on the verge of extinction that means they are on the door of extinction that means if the steps are not taken they will come to an ex uh, position of what they will get extinct so they are they are on verge of extinction and can get extinct if care if steps not taken if steps are not taken but they are already extinct now no steps can bring them back isn't it they are already extinct they are already extinct and no steps can bring them back so this is the difference between the two the one is already extinct the endangered is what they are on the verge of extinction if the steps are not taken they will 
they will get extinct. But the one extinct is what? Which one? If even if the steps are taken, they won't come back. So, like uh, I can write over here the third point. It won't be considered as a point, but still, dodo. Now, here if I want to write the example, then even the lion, the Indian tiger, many are there. The blue whale, all these species are endangered species. Now we'll move to the next question. Now the next question is uh, the difference between the flora and the fauna. But for that, uh, I'll just have to rub the board uh, because I won't be able to write over here. So please note these answers, and uh, I'll just we'll just discuss the next answer now. Now we will come to the question number third children and the question number third is discuss the effects of deforestation on the following. That means we have to uh, talk about the uh, results or the effects of the deforestation. So this one is answer number three and here we will be discussing the effects of deforestation on. So the A is given wild animals. So, what actually question is children? The question is about that if deforestation will take place, if the humans will keep on cutting the trees, what will be the effects on the they have given certain A, B, C. So, the first point is uh, if destruction will uh, if deforestation will take place, how will it affect the wild animals? How deforestation is going to affect wild animals? So, definitely wild animals will be affected very badly by deforestation. We all know wild animals where do they live? They live in forest and definitely their habitat is forest, uh, woods that means the trees, the plants and if the trees are cut that means they will lose their habitat that means they will lose their habitat. And not only the thing is that they will lose their habitat, the thing is the problem will be that where they will go, they will not feel protected and even directly or indirectly each and every animal living in the forest or even we depends upon the trees, even land depends upon the plants because the deer will be eating plants. So when the plants will not be there, the trees will not be there immediately each and every organism will be affected. So, they will not only uh, lose their habitat, but also will face the uh, scarcity of the food that means it is going to affect the food also. They will not be able to get proper food and they will not be uh, protected also, they will not be their protection will be hampered. I am not writing the complete sentences, I am not even writing the sentence over here, I am just giving the keywords that if the deforestation will be there, how it is going to affect the wild animals, first of all it will be affecting, it will be destroying the habitat, that means the habitat will be disturbed, destroyed or they are going to lose their habitat. Second is they will not get food properly because it directly and indirectly all the organism depends upon the trees and definitely due to the destruction of the trees they will not get the food and the protection the protective environment will also not be there because the animals will feel protected only when the habitat is safe. But when the habitat is only not safe how will they feel protected. Now this was a. Now we will talk about V. They are asking now the effect of deforestation on the environment. Now uh, what will be the effect of, of uh, deforestation on environment? It will be just disastrous. 
each and everything in the environment will get disturbed definitely it is going to disturb we have discussed all these things in detail actually so if deforestation will be there first of all what will happen it is going to affect the oxygen and carbon dioxide cycle the amount of carbon dioxide will increase on the surface of the earth it will give rise to global warming it will give rise to a green uh, house effect it will disturb the water cycle uh, it will disturb the climate it will give rise to millions of other problems you know like the natural calamities will increase if forests are not there definitely the rains will be disturbed and the trees are not there to hold the soil so the desertification will take place so many things are there my god so uh, what will how it is going to harm the environment first of all the oxygen and carbon dioxide cycle will be disturbed definitely when you will be writing the answers we will be discussing and not discussing we will be writing in detail you have to you have to explain each and every point so the o2 and co2 cycle will be disturbed the climate will change the temperature will increase and defi definitely why temperature will increase children if you remember we have discussed that when co2 increases the global warming will takes place the greenhouse effect takes place first of all so it will give rise to greenhouse effect which will increase the temperature of the earth that means a global warming will take place it will also give acid rain then the water cycle will get disturbed plants won't be there to absorb the water so the water table will be reduced whatever you know about the deforestation you all can write over here water table will be dis reduced or will be disturbed natural calamities will increase that means the drought and the floods and everything so natural calamities will increase so many problems will be there so many uh, we cannot even imagine of this okay now the c1 is um, villages the effect on the villages so c is the effect of deforestation on the villages uh, so what will be the effect on villages c when the deforestation takes place the rains uh, the uh, will be affected the floods can be there in different different areas depending upon the different situation so out of this only we have to sort and write over here first of all the fertility of the soil will be reduced because when the trees are not there nothing is there to hold the soil so when it rains or when the wind blows uh, what will happen the fertile layer the upper layer of the soil which contains a humus it will get washed away and then what will be left the rocky layer will be left and that means a desertification will takes place so uh, soil will become infertile rains will affect rains will be affected and definitely the natural calamities will increase now uh what is the d1 just d is cities that how deforestation is going to affect the cities this all thing is related to city only global warming pollution will increase global warming
पॉल्यूशन ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट क्लाइमेट विल आल्सो चेंज एंड एसिड रेन diseases all these things are very very connected you know it is not the thing that certain things certain uh, uh, you know few things are there in the uh, environment of the america if the pollution is there in the america it is not going to affect india it's not like that we have divided the earth actually earth is not divided whatever effect will be there at one place definitely is going to affect on the other also so that while coming till here that effect may reduce but the overall effect is definitely uh, the effect will be there so it cannot be the thing that village uh, uh, that in india one like uh, severe deforestation uh, uh, is there and it is going to affect the village in a different way in town in a different way different way definitely that effects will be there if the fertility is not there in the uh soil will not be having good fertility it is not going to give good production and then it is going to uh, you know increase the uh, price of the grains so impact is coming on the cities also so uh, it is not the uh, thing and small differences will be there in the effect that why and by what the people will be affected more by one uh, thing now come to the next one earth Now see earth. Uh, I don't think so that this has to be written because earth is again what the same thing. Now we are we live on the surface of the earth, and whatever is happening is happening on the surface of the earth only. So I feel this question, uh, you know, there is no need to write this. That whatever is happening on the earth, uh, like we all are on the surface of the earth only. will come to the f1 the next generation you know the next generation e i do not think that it has to be written because all this is happening on the earth only it is not happening on the moon we are talking on the surface of, we are talking about the surface of the earth we are not at all talking that deforestation has taken on the moon isn't it so all this is what we are talking about is going to definitely affect the surface of the earth now e i am not writing now f is next generation so definitely the next generation will be in a chaos we won't be giving anything to them if we are going to uh, use natural resources to these extent so even this i won't be writing that next generation what problems they will be facing whatever is written in you will just sum up and we can write in next generation they are going to face severe problems regarding the oxygen and carbon dioxide cycle if we talk about if we talk about the temperature of the surface of the earth if we talk about the uh, water cycle the rain the floods the global warming acid rain greenhouse effect water table everything will be in chaos and definitely they have to bear all the thing and uh, if we do not keep uh, our earth safe now we'll move to the next question oh my god one difference was left between flora and fauna so i forgot to write the difference between flora and fauna and then shifted to the question number 3 So I'll just write the difference between flora and fauna. Flora and fauna. Difference between the flora and the fauna. Now, all the plants which exist on the surface of the earth, all the plants.
which exist on the surface of the earth is flora you give the examples of any plant any plant maybe mango your favorite fruit maybe timber so anything you can write over here now fauna is the all the animals all the animals living on the surface of the earth on the surface of the earth and you can quote any example maybe monkey or maybe lion so flora is what the plants the whatever plant is present on the surface of the earth that is known as flora and whichever animal is present on the surface of earth it will come that means you know, all together the all the plants which exist comes under the category of flora and all the animals which exist on the surface of the earth they come under the category of the fauna so this is the difference between the flora and the fauna this one is second ka d now we'll talk about the next question uh which is question number 4 so just i'll dash the board and we'll talk about the question number 4 now please note this 